going on here is a demonstration of some of the technology that we have here in the valley, some of the products that we have in the valley around solar in particular, but alternative energy as well, that demonstrate what the technology is doing here in the valley to give people a chance to see it, to touch it, and think about applying it in their business or their home. Shuko's project here uh, with Sunwater Solar, which is traditionally a, a residential solar thermal um, a product that's used for domestic hot water. So the whole point is that um, people can actually offset their, their usage of electricity by having photovoltaics, or they can use also do thermal or a combination of both. And why aren't people doing it now? Let's think. <laughs> why aren't people doing it now? It's a cost <laughs> issue. Uh, it's people that can afford to do it or doing it now or people that are more conscious about it or are installing it now. Um, the uh, interesting part of it is that there's companies out there that actually do home financing for people. A company called Sunroom is a good example. There's also manufacturers that do their own financing for uh, consumers. And so what happens is you can go ahead and have a system installed in your house for free and instead of paying your uh, electric bill or your gas bill directly to an electric company, you pay it to the company that finances the system for you. So yes, it's, called a, it's what's called a power purchase agreement is used. And um, so for a period of say 10 years, your costs of, of electricity do not go up because you're paying directly to the financer and you're offset already and they finance the cost of all the equipment installed in the house. But living in California with the sun so many days out of the year, I think it sounds like a great way to save mm -hmm. power and you know use what's natural instead of spending money on all these other things mm -hmm. that cost us so much to get our power. Yeah. People should just so. come check it out. It's really interesting. I think students especially will be interested in it. Maybe they could find a job in green power. So. You know, there are financial incentives available for solar hot water systems uh, for both residential and on the commercial side. Um, there's something called the CSI Thermal Rebate, which is a program that's run uh, by the state of California in conjunction with PG&E and several other utility companies. And what this program does is provide uh, a check, a cash rebate, to homeowners who install a solar hot water system that meets certain requirements. And on the commercial side, rebate checks are also available to businesses uh, and building owners for, for large commercial buildings who install solar hot water. Okay? So what usually happens is um, the installer company, uh, a company like Sunwater Solar, who I work for, We'll come in and we will design the system and uh, have the system put in and then we will apply for the rebate on behalf of the client. So we'll go on to the CSI Thermal website, key in all the data about the system size, all the different elements of the system, and then we get some information from the client, their PG&E account number, their meter number. We submit all that information, CSI Thermal approves the rebate application and then uh, within a certain period of time the client receives a check. I think solar hot water is a really good example. Um, the sun is there, everybody's got it. We have enough energy easily to, to power, uh, to, to basically heat the water, all the usage that we need in California. We just don't have those systems in place. We basically, we doped our glycol, our solar fluid, with water. And when it hits that boiling point, it'll, the water will steam. And because it's a closed system, the pressure is forcing out all the fluid off the roof and it protects the glycol so well that you only need to change it once every like nine to 13 years. Whereas like a typical system needs to five be years, yeah. maintenance two to five years. The way that the system is protecting the glycol, it's once every nine to 13 years. If you guys come inside here, you can see, knowing that we've had very little heat source, very little sun in the last, let's say three or four days. Um, so majority of this heated water has been done previously you watch here 69 degrees we run our, our pump and pull hot water from our tank the only heat source in this system are the panels on the roof um, even in lieu of like a powerful sunny day we're still able to provide a fairly high temperature and a lot of that has to do with the technology that we use to insulate and uh, magnify the, the heat source of the Sun and then of course like Bernd was just talking about uh, storage capacity maintain the temperatures that you gather as best as possible. So basically then we'll take the, the panel down from the roof back into the tank. We submerge a heat exchanger at this point. It's a dual wall heat exchanger. And uh, then it's uh, surrounded by your potable water, which is what you do to heat the water. And then of course, you know, take showers, wash the dishes. And then this is a typical system like you saw on the roof, is a two panel system. Maybe if you have a few more people in the house, then you've got um, a three-panel system, 
and the goal of all these systems is usually 75 to 85 percent offset of your hot water uh, usage and so the other 20 percent of the time roughly you'd be using a backup element whether it's uh, electric gas or boiler backup we're able to tie it into your pre-existing heat system and provide the rest of your hot water uh, with that method. The maintenance on these systems is uh, it's pretty low for homeowners. Uh, you're looking at uh, every 9 to 13 years just changing the glycol, uh, which is a food grade uh, propylene glycol solution that cycles through the system. All you have to worry about is getting that switched every 9 to 13 years. Um, this right here is the control for the system. So this tells the, you can set the temperatures, that tells the system when to turn on and when to turn off. An installer who sets up your system for you can come in and set that for you. And uh, there's a very simple, easy to understand manual. If you want to change it yourself, you can. Uh, or you can just have the installer do it for you. It's pretty easy. Um, otherwise, that, that's about all the, ins the, the things you need to worry about as a homeowner for, uh, for maintaining these. Business like, say, a food processing plant or a, a hotel or even a prison or a jail or a multifamily building a nursing home, a senior, senior housing facility, all these kind of buildings too can also benefit from solar hot water because those type of buildings where there's maybe hundreds of people living there with their own hot water needs, uh, you know, their, their utility bills are pretty high too for heating water. In a system like this, same technology, you come in, you hook up one of these and uh, you're going to see major, major decreases in the amount of money that those facilities are paying each month to heat water for all those people. Financially, I mean, to run this, to set it up and, and everything, um, is it like the solar panels w where it's not an immediate cost reduction, but it's a kind of over time? Or is this an immediate, like, you'll see the bill just drastically change? You will see an immediate drop in your <laughs> bill that you'd pay for natural gas or electricity to heat water. That's immediate. Sun Reports is a monitoring service that um, has a product line called the Apollo. The premise is that the installer um, ha can get an alert uh, from the from the sun report system, if there's something that's wrong with the the, uh, the solar installation, so if the, uh, the solar installation is not performing up to the expected value, for instance, the um, installer can get an email, and then the installer can then contact the customer and say, hey, there's something that we may need to come take a look at. We provide the the device that monitors the system, as well as the uh, user portal and the installer portal on the website. So it gives the, the information to the installer, it gives the information to the, con the consumer uh, to be able to understand what's happening with their system. Shuko, on the, on the solar thermal side, um, we really believe that the Shuko um, glycol system is far superior to any of the other um, systems that are available out there. One of the unique portions of the Shuko system is the way they utilize the steam back, um, which basically um, evacuates the glycol molecules out of the solar collectors on the roof when things get too hot so they never reach their um, breakdown temperature. So typically the glycol in the Shuko system will last like 10 or 12 years before you want to replace the fluid as compared to your standard glycol systems where you might be replacing fluid every one or two years. So it's a real big difference. It's a huge engineering difference. <laughs> The showcase will be open uh, now, December 2010 through December 2011. Um, we'll be open during the weekdays for school group and professional group tours, and on the weekends for public tours.